Hey, everybody. I thought that it might be good to talk a little bit about gratitude this time of the year. When most of the time people can identify what they're thankful for, there are ter- certain times that it makes it difficult. You know, those long, cold winter months or holiday seasons, or maybe even summer seasons can make it difficult for people to be grateful. However, gratitude can help with all of these times. It's actually backed by science to help improve your mental, emotional, and your physical well-being. So today we are diving into the science behind gratitude and why it is so important and so valuable in our lives. So let's start with our brain. Did you know that when you express gratitude, our brain releases this amazing cocktail of chemicals? We call those chemicals serotonin, oxytocin, and dopamine. Dopamine acts as your reward system in your brain. Since it makes you feel good, it actually encourages you to continue to repeat the same behavior. And serotonin, it just boosts your overall mood and it helps you feel better and calmer. And we gotta love oxytocin. It is known as the bonding chemical in relationships. It can actually help strengthen our relationships and it makes it easier to trust others. These feel-good chemicals are your brain's way of giving you a high five or be thankful. Also, it's important to recognize that gratitude activates different regions of the brain. Those areas help you process emotions, they help you make decisions, and they help you to have empathy. So in essence, when we look at it, gratitude really changes the way our brain operates, and it really helps us to become more relaxed, focused, and stay more connected to others. So have you been feeling stressed lately? Well, guess what? Gratitude also has the power to reduce the cortisol in your bloodstream. And cortisol just happens to be a stress hormone. If you can reduce that stress hormone, you can be more calm and relaxed and eliminate that bite, bite, or freeze system that's kicked in when we feel stress. It also has cardiovascular benefits and helps your immune system. Being grateful is also helpful with depression, along with anxiety. And research has shown that simply by writing down what you're grateful for can reduce your levels of depression and anxiety. In one particular study, people who wrote gratitude letters showed significant improvement in their mental and physical health, even weeks after they stopped writing. And here's the best part of all. As you continue to do this, you can rewire your brain with something called neuroplasticity. So it makes it easier to continue to do this over time. And of course, one of my very favorite parts about gratitude is it really has a profound effect on strengthening relationships. You know, when you express sincere gratitude to somebody, you build trust and empathy and respect with that person, whether it's your partner, a friend, or a coworker. It allows you to build deeper connections and it really helps your relationship to thrive. I've seen many couples who really struggled with saying thank you to their partner because they were so frustrated about many things. But when they learned to say thank you often, they found that they were less frustrated and were able to focus more in on the good things. All right, now that you know that gratitude is so wonderful, How can you practice gratitude in your daily life? I have got a couple techniques I'd like to share with you. First of all, you can do gratitude journaling. It's incredible just to take a minute out of each day to write one thing or two things that you are grateful for. Another thing you can do is write a gratitude letter to somebody. It can be a simple note, just a sticky note on a refrigerator or in somebody's notebook to tell them what you appreciate about them. Another thing you can do is mindful noticing, which is simply taking a moment and just appreciating something that is in your surrounding, whether it's family pet or the sun shining in the window. There are so many things to be grateful, but we don't usually take the time to notice them. One of my favorite things that helps with gratitude is what's called positive noticing, where you get to focus on honing in on things that people do that are 
good, that are positive. And of course, you have to be thankful. So you have to tell them. I have a video about that. You can also check out. As you practice these different techniques, remember, they only take a couple minutes. And the amazing thing is you will start to feel better and you will notice that you're developing greater resilience and eliminating negative thought patterns. By practicing gratitude, you are not only rewiring your brain, but you're potentially building greater connections, enjoying life, and just being healthier overall. The science is very clear on this. Take a moment today and reflect on the things that you are thankful for because you deserve all the benefits it brings to your life. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you for being here, for walking on this journey with me. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. Thank you for liking and thank you for subscribing. I couldn't do this without you. I appreciate you so much. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and I will see you next time. Don't forget your mind matters because you matter.